All right, thank you, Savannah. Well, it's peak summer right now, but our Smith County Master Gardeners already have their minds on fall. Here's Savannah Hale. Hey everybody, today on Mastering Your Garden, I'm with my friend here, Colleen. Now, Colleen, it's summer right now. I know it's very hot and people are probably thinking it is not time to talk about the fall, but you say it is time to talk about yeah, fall. Yeah, it is. And if you, know, if you grow tomatoes like I grow tomatoes, really the last thing I wanna do right now is get back out in the garden. And you know, it's like another bad hair day you know, with the heat and humidity, but now is really the time to start your fall tomatoes. Um, a lot of people have already been pulling up their, their spring summer tomatoes. Uh, now you do want to use transplants, so if you started your seeds, that's great. You need to get them in by mid-August because in order to produce tomatoes, it takes about 60 to 70 days to produce any fruit on your tomato plants and we're about 120 days from the first frost. So you don't want those tomatoes to get caught in the frost. Uh, and that's around the middle of November is, is predicted our first frost for the uh, almanac. Uh, the other thing is, is when you plant your fall tomatoes, because we are gonna have lots of heat, you know, with August and September and even into October, is just make sure when you plant them is to have a nice thick three inches of, of nice mulch on top so it keeps the moisture and everything in. Make sure you feed them on a regular basis and also water very, very deeply because it's just so hot right now. There's lots of other fall vegetables you can plant. You still have some time. Uh, broccoli, carrots, uh, cauliflower, bro uh, broccoli, or Brussels sprouts, kale, lettuce. Those are frost tolerant. So you can put those in the ground like September, by, by mid-September, and you know, they'll, make it, they'll make it through the frost and everything. Perfect, well, if anybody has any more questions about fall vegetables, is there anywhere that they can go? Absolutely, we have a fully staffed Smith County Master Gardener help desk. You can call in, you can email, you can come by the desk. We're there every day, all day from nine to four. We take a lunch break from 12 to one. And uh, we have some fantastic people that can answer all your questions, not just about vegetables, but about absolutely everything. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Colleen. Thank you. Well, if and you keep cool, <laughs> <laughs> you you talked a lot about the heat for sure. <laughs> but if you want to submit any yard pictures or garden pictures of your yard and garden to be yard of the month, we pick a yard of the month every last Thursday of the month for a gift card to J and J. So go ahead and submit your pictures to this phone number on this screen, as well as your address, your name, and your phone number.